In this short video, I'd like to show you a couple of very easy and quick ways to get your real-time data into an Excel spreadsheet. First thing that you'll need to do is open up your Excel program through the Thomson Reuters programs. To do that, you go to your Start menu, select Thomson Reuters, and then the Thomson Reuters icon Excel. Now to make sure that you have the correct version of Excel running, at the very top of your spreadsheet you should have a tab up here called Thompson Reuters. If you select that you'll notice that you've got a number of other choices that typically aren't available. I'll go ahead and move this back over here to the side. And over here on the left hand side is a real time quote list. To get your data from your quote list into an Excel spreadsheet there's a couple different ways to do it. The easiest way to do it is to literally drag your symbol directly into the spreadsheet itself. Now once that's dragged over, what you might want to do is you might want to name your columns of data. So this first column of data is the last price, the next one is the net, and the last one is our percent change. Now to grab more than one security at a time, you can also grab an entire block of data. First thing what you'll need to do is you'll need to select where it's going to go. So in this case I'll make sure that I've got my pointer highlighting a blank cell. I'll come over here and by holding down the shift key, I'll grab an entire block of data and then drag the entire block to where I want it populating my spreadsheet. And in addition to that, let me show you another way to do it as well. I'll go to a blank spreadsheet. And before I go any further, the first thing I want to do is I just want my list of securities to start in A2 rather than in A1. So I'll make sure that that's selected. And then up here at the top, I'll click on the List button and then choose Manage Lists. This will show you the different symbol lists that I have available inside the Thomson Reuters platform. I'm going to choose the second one down which is my list of Forex symbols and I'll click on export and that of course will give me my different symbols that I have inside that list. Now if you've been working with the Zenith platform and you're familiar with the types of data that you have available you can actually type in the column names right up here at the very top. So for example underneath B1 I'll just type bid and underneath C or C1 I'll type the word ask. Now to populate these columns of data with real-time data, all you do is put your pointer inside this cell, which in this case is going to be the cell of B2. I'll right-click inside of it and choose the Thomson Reuters icon Excel Speed Data. And by clicking on that, that'll actually give me that information in a real-time format. The nice thing about having this data inside your Excel spreadsheet then, of course, is that you can do pretty much anything that you want to do. So in this case, if I want to create a column of data which give me the spread or the difference between the bid and ask, I could go ahead and call this column of data spread and then put my pointer inside the cell of D2 and I'll do an equal sign, I'll highlight my ask, hit a minus sign and highlight my bid and hit my enter and that will give me the difference between that bid and ask. And then if I want to copy this data down into the other cells, I'll just grab a corner and I'll just drag that cell down. And that, of course, will populate that information for me. So I hope this quick video has at least spurred your interest in finding out more what you can do with Excel in combination with the Zenith platform. And for more Metastock training, please visit our website at www.learnmetastock.com.